welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we're going to make this dish known as potato croquette. Alright, so let's start doing that. Now that the pan is hot, I'm going to put in some uh, butter. Over here, I have about approximately 120 grams. I'm going to use everything up, but not just for frying. I'm going to mix them into the uh, potato, mashed potato later. The rest of it. So I'm just going to throw some butter over here and spread out the onions. This will take approximately about 5 minutes, 5 to 8 minutes in all day. So once the turn opaque and softened, it's ready to remove. I think it still needs a couple of minutes. Be careful not to burn the onions. So constant stirring is actually required. Okay, the onion is about done. Okay, it's soft already and it's turning off it. So let's just dish this up and uh, we'll fry the ground pork. Same thing, add some butter in. And we're going to fry the minced pork. That's about 600 grams of it. Okay, we want this to be dry. So it's got to keep frying until it's dry. You can add, for seasoning once, I'll add a little bit of salt and a pepper onto it. And then just spread this on top first. I'm going to fry it until it's completely dry, so this will take a couple of uh, minutes. So basically, after boiling the tomato, how potato sorry how do you know whether it's done or not just use a piece of chopstick and just push it through the potato itself if it goes in easily it's done okay like this so it's done we will mash all this up and we'll add the butter in also the rest of the butter so just put it in and start mashing them up So we need to mash this until it becomes uh, very fine. So keep flipping the, the underneath up to see whether there's any uh, potato that you haven't actually mashed it down. And do it for a couple more times. And it goes down very simply, that means most of the potato has been mashed already. Now the potato has been mashed up already. So what we do is yes, we add in the onions that just now we fry. Everything, just pour them in. Gonna do the same for the minced meat. Pour everything in. We're gonna mix them now. At this juncture of time, you actually can add in the pepper. General dose of it. I like the peppery taste in my croquet, so I do mind a little bit more pepper. Right, this is going to be a fun food for me, so I'm not going to put in too much salt. And I've already added uh, one teaspoon just now to the minced meat, so I'm just going to do another one and a half teaspoon more. This half. After you mix this together, I'll just give it a little try. If it's not salty enough, then just add some more salt. Okay. And we mix this all. I've just tasted it. Um, it's very good, but I think it still needs about approximately about one teaspoon of salt and more pepper. I mixed them well enough already, I've tasted it and it tastes incredible. So I'm going to just let this rest for a while to let it cool down before I actually roll them into uh, something like a American football. Okay, and I'm going to dip them in flour, 
egg wash and breadcrumbs and then deep fry them okay we wait for this to cool down okay now that this is cooked um, i'm going to roll this so grab a handful of it Put it up into an oval ball like this. Okay. Put it in plain flour first. And then inside the egg wash. Then into the breadcrumbs. for the rest so we put like this Now that the oil is hot, it's time to start frying the croquet. Gently put them in. Just brown them. Make sure you don't burn them. This will be crispy on the outside and inside will be very tender, it will be very very good. Kids love this. You can see that it's turned into a very beautiful <coughs> golden brown. So these are done. Let's just take this off and drain them. Ladies and gentlemen, Kuroke, I hope you like our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.